Hello, welcome to The Ref Show. Three goals in one match that should have been disallowed for offside. Is that some sort of record? Uh, on the other side of the coin, a record low for yellow cards in the Premier League, well, this season at least, across the games. Welcome development. We'll talk to our experts about that. Mark Halsey is one of them, very familiar figure. Other topics include um, the respect for referees being shown at the Rugby World Cup, which kind of always, when that happens, kind of puts football in a slightly shadowy focus. We'll talk about the difference, maybe the cultural differences between the two sports, and introducing Mark Todd. Now, with Mark, it's an opportunity to see things from the inside of football. You work for Sheffield United within the community, a community programme. You're a former Sheffield United and Rotherham midfielder. Welcome, Mark. Be interesting to get your uh, take on the things that we talk about. Generally, uh, I think a pretty good weekend for refereeing, but not in terms of linesmanship again. What's going wrong there, Mark, and why? Um, it, it's, it's difficult. I mean, you're absolutely right. It was, I think it's a really good weekend for, for, for referees, and it's pleasing to say that. Um, why we look at assistants making errors, and they're making them week in, week out now. And, um, you know, I was privy to a conversation with, with some ex-colleagues of mine um, who went to... A referees, uh, assistants referees meeting, assistant referees meeting at Warwick um, a few weeks ago, and they came out a bit confused um, with with the, the interpretation from the PGMOL, um, what they were telling them, what they were showing them um, that was offside, was what wasn't offside, and they were at, at, at loggerheads with some of the decisions that were or what was coming back from the, from, the, from the management. So, no wonder confusion reigns um, with, with 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 the offside. But I mean, looking at the weekend. They, they were a couple of easy ones. They're not confu confusing. They, 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 they wasn't confusing, no. No, they weren't confusing. But We're talking about Spurs. The Spurs for Manchester City won, and uh, two of Tottenham's goals should have been disallowed. Uh, there was another one at the other end as well. And errors by both the assistants there, Jake Collin and Simon Beck, mm. not really supporting the referee, Mark Clatton. No, I, I felt for Mark. Does he, I mean, he had a, I thought he had a terrific game. Um, but if you look at if, if we look at the first the first judgment with Jake Collin and the Man City goal, um, I think that that you can understand that. I mean, we're always saying give the benefit of the doubt to the attackers, and that was really really tight. That was a tight tight call in, in real time. I don't think anybody would have would, would have called that offside, and I think everybody would have kept their flag down. So you know you've got you've got to you can't really criticise Jake Collin in that instance. Then we go back to obviously move down further on with with um, Simon Beck and Kylie Walker. That is, I mean, if you look if you look at um, Simon's positioning, he's he's not with the second most rear defender, so he's out of position. He's a yard out of position. And if you think back to the week before, he made a big error as well with one matter at yeah. um, Southampton Man United with, with, with Mark Clattenburg yeah. in. And I just wondered if, if, I mean, for the last five or six years, Simon Beck has been the senior assistant, all of a sudden he's been moved to the junior assistant. Now, is that playing on his mind? You know, th this, this is the team, this is Mark Clattenburg's team that goes, travels him all over Europe for the, um, the Champions League, the, 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 Europa quali the, the European Championship qualifiers, and, you know, strongly tipped to represent our country in, in uh, the championships ne next year, next summer. So, you know, is it, is it a dent? I, I feel for Mark because I think he's got to sit down with his two boys now and I think he's got to sit down and got to talk about what's going on, what's, what's going through their heads. And there's, there's, too, many, um, there's too many errors coming from, from Simon, who's, a, who's an excellent assistant. You know, he's very experienced. So we've got to ask the question, why? Is he making these these errors? And as you make the point, officiating is a team game. They operate as a team, and yeah. their hopes of already Martin Atkinson was favourite. He and his team again, Newcastle, at Chelsea. Yeah, I mean, you talk about that. I remember um, with uh, Mike Malarkey. I think it was last weekend. With, with he, he, he gave a, a bad bad flag for a, for a handball, which clearly hit. Um, that I think led to a free kick going in, in, into attacking situation. So. You know, you can't sort of, you've you got to look at the referee abilities. Yes, you look at the assistant, and, and for me, yeah, we're looking at two referees that are, that are pushing to, to represent us in, in, in the Euros ne next year. Now, there's, there's a strong possibility that they, two could be going. Personally, I don't think there will be. So, 
one of them are going to are going to miss out and they're going to be very disappointed. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that deals with with that particular game. It is unusual for three to be wrong. Certainly, one from the, the free kick where Harry Kane scored. It's quite clear, really, wasn't it? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, that one again with with, with Jake Collin. You know, he's, the ball stats. It's a free kick. It's, it's going nowhere. So you're looking straight along that line. He's in a great position. All you can see is a white shirt. You can't see the black shirt. So you're saying to yourself, you've got to be saying to yourself, well, if that ball comes over. Yeah. You know, it doesn't go to him and it comes back off the bar. He, he's, obviously, he's not, he's not active. He's not active yeah. at that present time. But once that ball comes back off the bar, he then becomes involved in play. He then becomes active. Particularly with him, particularly with him scoring, it's such an effect yeah. on the game, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think it's just the obviousness of it, isn't it? Yeah, you know? it is. It's so, so obvious. Yeah. Um, but, and again, going back to, to, to Jay and Cal's one, that's really obvious. And you're talking, yeah, you know, we talked earlier on about peripheral vision. Yeah. Where's his eyes? Right. Well, we've got a couple of referees coming up who've had a completely clean uh, sheet, no yellow cards at all. About, I mean, talking about Mark, you know, talking yeah. about Mark Flattenberg on, on that game. There's a, there was a lot of there was a lot of crit, not criticism, but there was a lot of people felt that he should have sent um, De Marcalis off for a second yellow card. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, I was watching one of the, the major TV um, uh, coverage on on, on on Saturday, and they're all saying that De Marcalis should have gone for. a Second yellow card, absolute nonsense, absolute nonsense. Okay, you know, it's careless, reckless, reckless of excessive force. Careless, free kick, nothing else. Reckless, free kick, and, and yellow card. It was a careless challenge. Okay, he wasn't, he wasn't stopping a promising attack because there were defenders around him. And, and when you look back, you can see Di Marcalis was cautioned yeah. for descent for the, the offside decision just prior to... Prior to so you can, can, under, you can, can understand. Just move this on, because Morton Anderson Gott, who's a referee right. in Norway, is one of those who did claim that. You've answered that point. Yeah. Yeah. He also raised another point by email, and we're always grateful when people do this, so thank you to, to you, Morton. He says that on two occasions, he felt that Mark Trattenberg chased... Uh, chased after players to, to caution them instead of calling them to him. And he made that a criticism of, of the performance. What, what do you think in, in that respect, Mark Todd, first of all? I think the calling, of, the calling into the headmaster's office, Mark, you know, as a, as a player, it, it just gets your goat. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not something that's um, it's conducive to, to respect both sides. So you're you saying know. it doesn't work? I think it doesn't work. In it football, it, anyway, it, in other not, sports? As an ex-player, it's the last thing we wanted. Quite happy to meet in the middle, Absolutely. quite happy to have that respect, quite happy to hold your hands up and be honest. Yeah. But as soon as you're called into that headmaster's office, uh, whether he's walking yeah. 20 yards away, some of them actually walk away yeah. to free themselves from the melee. So you've got to walk yeah. further. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I'm 100% with Mark, and, and that's the easiest way to lose the respect to the player. You go halfway, you're going to cause the player, so you just carry on running, carry on running, he turns around, yellow card, away we go, let's get, let's get on with it. And then the last thing you want is a you know, he's, he's gone 30 yards and all of a sudden you go, hey, come here, come here. And in business, you know, that's man management. It's man management. It's, ma it's, 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 ga it's game management. It's managing it the players and it's managing the game. Absolutely spot on. Wrapping up this half then, there were only 27 yellow cards across uh, nine uh, uh, games, eh? Uh, uh, an average of three, but Anthony Taylor spoilt it with eight uh, in the Watford Crystal Palace game. Otherwise, it would have been down to, to, to 19, which is the kind of level you guys have been recommending. Two referees, John Moss in Liverpool 3, Aston Villa 2, and Mike Dean with a, a four-goal thriller, West Ham 2, Norwich 2. They had no uh, cards at all. That's got to be utopia for a referee. Entertaining game, no cards. Absolutely, and, and it's, it's great to see because, you know, Mike Dean come bouncing back. He, you know, he received a lot of criticism last yeah. week, which I felt was a little bit unjust because you know, everything was centred around the, the Costa incidents. But it's great to see him come back. No yellow cards. Went through the game. Terrific game. Goes to show what a great. Subconsciously thinking, yeah. don't, yeah. don't have another yeah. incident. That's it. No incident. He, yeah. won, he wanted a quiet game. He got Absolutely. a quiet game, but you know, it's great. And it just, it just goes to prove what an excellent referee is. Lee Mason back. Um, yeah. In uh, Stokes win over Bournemouth, been out for a while, passed without incident. That'll be a relief and, for and, and Lee would have been pleased with that because, I mean, as I said, it's about managing men, managing players. Just like it's a, a, a bunch of referees, just like players, yeah. you've got to manage them. Yeah. And to leave Lee out of the out of the select group Premier League games for seven or eight weeks is 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 not right because you need your match practice, your match fitness at that level in the Premier League. You need to be refereeing every other week, not, you build not that seven relationship weeks. with the players, don't yeah. you? Of course you do, that continuity. Well, because it's very important to praise referees when they do well, we, we've got to name check all, all the ones that did. It's only fair because we certainly criticise yeah, when it's not the case. So Craig Pawson, Roger East and, and Mike Jones, Manchester United, Sunderland, except that we have in the second half of the show 
uh, to raise uh, a Louis van Gaal complaint. He felt that the referee in that game didn't clamp down on time wasting. We've run out of time to discuss that in this half. We'll be back with it in the second half. What yeah. about a bit of added time, no? Uh, well, well, yeah. Where do we get that from? from? Where do we get that yeah. from? <laughs> where, where, where from? Did somebody go down injured? Right, OK. Join, join us on the second half. <laughs>